Hey guys, this is Manjit Rukra. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a document that I've been using for the last three or four years uh, that has really helped scale our business. So again, before we go into it, if you guys have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button on below to get notified from all of our videos that we post here twice a week on Mondays and on Fridays. And of course, that helps the algorithm and help it helps other people find us. And again, if you guys find this video valuable, I always ask that you, I'd love it if you could like, comment, or share with anybody else that might find value from this video. So again, we're gonna be talking about a document here today called a bear trust. So what is a bear trust agreement? So if you guys have been following us uh, for a little bit and watch some of my other videos where I talk about essentially how I scale my business or so how I purchase real estate and build my rental portfolio with joint venture partners, uh, that you will follow along that course. And I'm going to be talking about essentially if I go out there and I'm building my portfolio with JV partners who are putting up the capital, they're putting up the closing costs and they're putting up the credit. So actually going on the mar mortgage and I'm not on the mortgage. So how do I actually protect myself or my beneficial interest in that property? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So at this end of this video, you guys are going to know what a bear trust agreement is, when to use it in your business, and basically how you can use it to scale up by working with multiple joint venture partners to buy multiple real estate uh, holdings for your business, as well as your joint venture partner business. So you can see this is an actual uh, bear trust agreement. And again, we're not going to go into all of the details of it. I just want to really give you a high level bird's eye view. Now, when we started buying real estate, uh, obviously it didn't take us a long. If you guys have watched previous videos that I actually got to a point that I was tapped out. So I couldn't actually buy any more real estate because one, I didn't have the income. And secondly, uh, the banks would not qualify me because even uh, with the properties, I got maxed out. I think I had about four properties in our name and that's it. You know, that's where it took me on a journey of actually uh, learning how to work with JV partners, learning how to raise money from people that uh, were in my inner circle. And now what we do is every single piece of property that I own, which are all multifamily properties, I own them with joint venture partners. And the way that I've been able to secure my interest in each one of these properties is through a simple agreement called a bear trust. Now, what a bear trust is, is essentially what it is saying is that uh, your partner who is on the mortgage, so your JV partners who is on the mortgage and the title and yourself, you guys are actually holding it um, in trust for one another. So one another's 50% share, which is the most common uh, split when you're doing and you're building real estate, is you're as essentially holding each other's beneficial interest for one another. And what it's what it basically says is that, you know what, if if your partner is on the title, your JV partner, well, they can't go uh, right under your rug and just sell the property without you knowing. And again, in a perfect world, um, you know, that in a perfect world that could happen because you're not on the mortgage, you're not on the title. So what this agreement essentially stipulates is, which is signed by you and your JV partner, that you guys are holding it in trust. Uh, but more importantly, you are going to be registering this document on title. So just like a lien, uh, just like a caveat is done, uh, if you know the banks are loaning you money while well, they have a mortgage registration, uh, they have a lien on the property until that mortgage is paid off. Well, that is essentially the same way that this bear trust is done. This is registered on the mortgage, obviously after the bank um, bank goes in first position. And essentially, if somebody were to go buy this property, this bear trust agreement would show up, which is again signed by you and your JV partner, essentially stipulating that uh, you have a legal interest in that property. And this agreement, we have used it over and over again, uh, and it has actually provided us security, but more so it's a provide us a, a provided us a peace of mind. And I had this lawyer uh, draw draw this uh, document up for me and, and actually even and make me aware of something like this because as we started growing our portfolio, I wanted more uh, I wanted more security than just a joint venture contract, which actually I was that's all I was doing before uh, I came into the knowledge of a bear trust. 
And uh, so now over the last couple of years, we've been using this, we've been registering it on title, and it's actually been working very, very well. So again, if you're in the business of real estate, essentially working with JV partners, and you're looking for a more secure way of securing your interest in the property, whether it's 40%, whether it's 50%. Uh, and again, you want to have that peace of mind that your joint venture partner is not going to just go try to sell the property without you knowing, which most likely will will not happen because you don't you want to make sure who you're working with. But again, it can happen. And this agreement alone will be able to help you with that. So again, guys, if you are a real estate investor, I would highly recommend talk to your attorney, talk to your lawyer about drawing up this piece of paper, this document, which is usually about two, three or four pages and start executing and start using it in your business. And again, this is just one of those things that you need to have in place to become a professional real estate investor. So again, guys, if you like this video, we would love if you like, comment, and subscribe on the button below. And we will be making a lot more videos like this where I'm gonna be talking about some of the agreements like promissory notes, uh, joint venture agreements, um, even mortgage registration, how I've used some of these documents and agreements for our business uh, while growing it in our niche of buy and hold real estate. So again, guys, we'll see you guys all on the next video. Thank you.